Step 3. He allowed natural selfing of all the hybrids, collected the seeds, sowed the seeds, and anxiously waited for the results. He found that dwarfness reappeared in some plants. In all, he had collected 1064 seeds of F2 generation. From this, 787 grew tall and 277 remained dwarf. He thought that it must be due to female dominance. Tallness was with ovules and dwarfness with tiny pollen grains. So he performed reciprocal cross. That is, now he selected tall plant as a male parent and dwarf as a female parent and repeated the procedure. He got similar results. That is, all tall in F1 and tall and dwarf in approximately 3 is to 1 ratio in F2 generation. In this manner, he did monohybrid crosses and reciprocal crosses with all the seven pairs of contrasting characters separately and obtained similar results. That is, only one of the two characters was expressed in F1 generation. In F2, the character which was expressed in F1 was in large number and the other in small number and the ratio was 3 is to 1. This is called monohybrid ratio. In all Mendelian crosses, it is 3 is to 1.